Today I'm going to be showing how I embroidered these letters on top of this stocking that I made for my daughter. And I'll do it with a new stocking that I'm making for another daughter. So start off by printing out on a font and a size that you like what you want to embroider. So I'm doing Abigail, it's the name of my daughter, and uh, I have the same font for all the stockings I've done for my kids. And I made sure that when I printed it out, it was the right size to fit on top of the stocking. Now, I've already traced it here, but normally you would just hold it up. And you can see that since it was in dark ink, I can see right through the fabric. And I could just trace it out. And that's what I do with just a regular pencil. Uh, if you're worried about the pencil marks showing when you're done on the final product, you can use a water-soluble or air-soluble marker that you can get at the fabric store. But I've never had a problem using the pencil, and I just go ahead and trace out the whole thing. The next thing you want to do is put it on an embroidery hoop. This will help hold the piece that you're working on uh, steady and still and tight, so it makes it just a lot easier to do the embroidery. And what we're going to be doing first is to do a back stitch along the whole entire outline of the letter and that will really help define uh, exactly where your edges are to make it very nice and smooth and appealing and even give it a little bit of a pop out um, in the final product. So I'm using just a regular embroidery needle and embroidery floss that's two strands thick. This um, color is 349. It's a nice red and I've just tied a little knot to the end and I'm going to start here on the A and for a back stitch you just go ahead and start um, start kind of anywhere you want I'm going to start right there and pull it all the way through and then you actually go in um, backwards from where you the direction you want to go so I'm going up which means I'm going to end up sewing around there it's called a back stitch because you go backwards. So just right along that edge that I drew in with my pencil and see then you come up kind of on the other side with a little gap and I'm going to go back in right exactly there and then come up again a little bit later and back down and this is a back stitch I have finished uh, the outline and now I'm ready for the um, emb embossing part or the satin stitch so um, it's what you do is you come up on the outer edge of your outline and just go straight across to the other edge. And you want to make sure, then you come up again right next to it. And you want to get as close as possible because the tighter this is, the better it's going to look. And since I have a little bit of a gap, I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of a gap from the bottom. I'm actually going to do the bottom part again because I want it to be covered completely. There we go.
So I've made it up to the cross part of the A and you can either decide to go all the way across with all of your stitches or to do something smaller and then come back the other direction. Um, normally I go all the way across but this time I think I'm just going to go up this leg and then back down and then do it this direction because the further the span the more likely it is that it's going to get caught or come apart. So I went up and down and now I'm going to go across vertically. There you have it. Um, one letter finished.